Hi, today we're going to touch on a common problem. It may not seem serious. Well, good news, it usually isn't, but it can be aggravating. It's time to talk tinea pedis, athlete's foot. Believe it or not, athlete's foot isn't exclusively for athletes, any more than tennis elbow exclusively for tennis players. It's characterized by scaling or blistering of the soles, sometimes fissures between the toes here and more often than not, itching. So what is it? It's a fungus, and it could spread from the feet to the palms, groin, and the rest of the body, if you're not careful. Fungal infections of the feet are contagious and can spread from person to person quite easily. So if you live with others and get a dose of it, try to keep your bath towels and that kind of thing away from everyone else. Generally, you can catch it from walking on contaminated floor barefoot, for instance, a prime location are places like gyms, changing rooms, swimming pools and communal showers. But it could also be from an allergy erythema, a bacterial infection, and sometimes skin conditions like psoriasis. We don't know why, but some people are more prone to athlete's foot than others. But either way, many patients have no symptoms at all and aren't even aware they have an infection. A lot think they just have dry skin on their feet but if you have stinging or burning with peeling and some cracking and itching, it would be worth checking whether you have athlete's foot. So if you have any of these, talk to your pharmacist. Because there's no one cause for athlete's foot, it's hard to narrow down a treatment to one thing. Generally, in terms of prevention, a dry and clean, frictionless environment for your bare feet is best. And keeping the feet dry, wearing cotton socks and breathable shoes can help keep it at bay. Talcum powders after a bath or shower can help. And as far for the fungal infection, there are so many options. Again, pop in to see your pharmacist. Many treatments are available without prescription and are usually taken for around four to six weeks. If you have a more severe case of athlete's foot, you may need something stronger, like a course of antifungal medication in the form of a pill. The good news is athlete's foot, though it can be quite painful, is quite easily dealt with and prevention is possible. What do you find works well with athlete's foot? Share any experiences or comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, stay well.